welcome back. For those of you that didn't catch my live stream the other day, uh, I had something of an adventure, attempting to clear some area, doing some nether blasting, and I managed to kill myself a few times, get killed several times actually. And that's not all. I did start clearing some area, and it's proving to be a much bigger job than I anticipated. But uh, I'm going to continue working on it, probably mostly off camera, because it's a huge area to clear. I'm talking about a 300 block by 300 block square area that I want to render spawn safe. So that nothing is going to spawn there, no ghasts, no zombie pigmen, no magma cubes or anything like that. And so that's going to take a while. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to go on a glowstone run because I have noted that there is an enormous amount of that stuff in the area. And call me greedy, but I want it. So, I'm going to go out and gather as much of it as I can, and we'll see. Okay, I've got uh, some cobblestone to work with, I've got a boatload of half slabs for spawn proofing, and some fire resist potions. I'm going to start one of those going right now, and carry three spares with me. Food, good tools, good bow. And so, let's head out this way. It's going to be the easiest way, I think, to get out where I'm headed to for the moment, at least at first. And besides which, another thing I started there was, in that stream was to begin work. Oh, please this wall, and that's the reason. To get a blast-proof wall here around this thing, so that if I'm down here collecting drops or whatever, then uh, I don't have to be concerned about being blown into the lava, or having stuff blown up, or just having to dodge gas balls. And that way I can just get stuff done. I figure if I make this thing six or seven blocks tall, or maybe taller, I don't know, probably taller. You are a rude SO. Okay. Oh, I didn't think to pick up any arrows. That was brilliant. Okay. Not a problem. I will finish up the wall. Go get some arrows. And then we will go hunting glowstone. And putting down half slabs all over the nether. That will be every bit as big of a job as... Oh. That will be every bit as big of a job as blasting that large area. But at the same time... It will also work towards eliminating spawns anywhere except in a trap, which is the eventual goal, of course. Okay. So now, give myself a stare. I'm going to 
I end up having to pick up more cobble too, I can tell. Alright, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. gotten a fair amount of stuff done, although uh, the gas did do quite a bit of blasting. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the empties, pick up some fresh ones. Uh, one is not going to be a good spare, one way more than that. So let's put this one in use. Two spares. I had to make a run to grab some more cobblestone because I was actually running out of it. So, let's see, actually, if I recall correctly, the direction to look for glowstone is going to be off this way. Could be wrong, but there's that nether fortress too. Alright. I'm gonna leave that open for the moment. There it is. Oh please. You know what I didn't get? I'm back and I finally have my act together here. So let's quaff the potion, get rid of the empty, get a refill, and head out. Out of my way, boy. at the top of this tunnel. That's not a good way to do it. I'm not going to try to do the whole thing right now, but I'm on the way past. I might as well do one line of it anyway. Besides, that's a good way to clear out enough space in my inventory to actually pick up glowstone when I forget it. Oh. Nasty. Falling off of stuff. Unnerving and unexpected. Okay, now, on to the glowstone. I think we can start with this batch right here. Okay. This will be an easy one. platform for it, for it to fall on. And 
just go up and get it. start, but that's fine. Okay, I believe I saw more of it over that way. Yeah, up there. That invisible block thing. I do wish that they would get that one fixed. fires out. We don't want it burning up. Excuse me. Problem I figured I'd have. But I also figured I'd be putting down a lot of these half slabs. Half slabbing operation. I'm going to be doing a lot of this off camera because, well, as you can guess, it's going to be very, very repetitive and unexciting. Although I suppose I could do it on a live stream. It depends on what people think about whether that they watch a live stream of somebody half slabbing large chunks of the nether. Let me know what you think about that. Let's go get this other one. Mm. I gotta say, Fortune Tree is a great way to collect glowstone. I realized that silk touches technically probably better, but that's all right. You see all the area that I cover with half slabs, I do not have to 
worry about having to destroy or fill in. Although I'll probably be using a combination of methods. Since simply putting down light isn't going to do it. and grapple. Okay, let's head over here. We can see some out there. And there's more over here. It looks like it's closer. Looks like a special batch to get. First, let's see about this batch. Oh, wait a minute. Let's uh, craft this up. I think I better renew my fire resist potion because I don't see the particles anymore. Particle effect is a little bit annoying, but at least it lets you know when the thing is working. Oh, I was. Oh boy. That was a waste. This is already overland. for you this time, John. Be a little better prepared if I did this, though. Okay, I think I got it all. Let's go ahead and craft it up. I'm going to put down a bunch of half slabs and then we'll go looking for some more of this stuff. Alright, now 
I've got uh, all my half slabs distributed. Sort of an okay amount of space. Still got a gas or two along the way. Even got myself another gas tier. Now, let's see. Let's head over and. Well, let's put another one of these into effect. And see about some more glowstone. There we go, right there. Right straight up. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Because they are an irritation. At least the zombie pigment don't progress. Ooh, now that's a big cluster of glowstone. Alrighty. That's our next target. Am I being greedy? Yeah, I suppose. I'm really glad those guys are such terrible shots. Okay, where's the other one? There he is. Thank you. Oh, it's a flaming arrow. One of my more poorly aimed shots, no doubt. Actually, I need to go back down a little bit. And I'm doing a platform this time because this is actually partly over a couple of different levels. And I'd rather it all fell in the same general vicinity. Oops. You know, like instead of falling down there like that did. Here, I should be able to just get up a little higher and nail all of the stuff. And it looks like that one's next. Put out the nearby fires, at least.
I don't know why sometimes you can pick the stuff up and others you can't. I have space. That's odd. I guess it's one of those phantom things. It's not really there. It only looks like it's there. Well, I'll get what I can and leave the rest, I guess. All right, what is next? I'm thinking maybe that. Looks like it's at least over land. And someday I'm going to have to come back in here and clean up all these cobble platforms that I've left all over the nether. pillars that I've left, and so on. Just because not doing so is unsanitary, even if it isn't ex exactly 100% necessary. It looks sloppy. Now I could get down there. Actually, why do this when I can just enter Pearl? Much better. Okay, where was I? I was up there. I was aiming for that one. Okay. Let's do this. No fires in the immediate area, that's good. Okay, and I'll take the pillar down some other time after they fix that getting stuck in a block bug. That has proven to be most annoying. Okay, we're at just over four stacks. What's next? Woo. Uh, let's see. Not terribly interested in going for the stuff that's directly over lava, but I may end up doing it anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. We got bursts of mini lag. That's what we've got. I'm actually interested in the larger patches. Get more for your money that way. Okay. I don't see 
see an easy way up there. Actually, I know an easy way up there. Careful, that's my last one of those. Good sized patch there, but it's right over the freaking lava. Oh well. Guess I will just uh, risk being greedy and build a platform under it. It would be nice if the fire would go out so that I could see a little easier. Thank you. All right, out this way, up, build a platform. Okay, all I gotta do now is just fill this thing in. I'm in the money for glowstone. I know this is kind of a sidetrack from spawn safing large areas, but Somehow it feels more rewarding. Although the gold farm working well will be very re rewarding as well. Pardon me, I will learn how to talk eventually. Another good sized patch around handy. There's that, but well, it's not bad, and it's not any worse being over the lava than this one is, so well. How much have I got left of the fire resistance? Let's do it.
really sure is a pain in the butt to kill them things. Okay. All right. Last one. Or maybe not. Let's just work on heading back. Yeah. I think it's time to call it a day. Get out of gas shot. Fire resist is no good anymore. Of course there is the little issue of remembering how to get out of here. What I probably need to do is just make my way over to one of those cobble structures over there. It represents one of my bases. to get there. Count on the fact that I can usually move faster than their aim can correct for it. That would be, I believe, the Epic Desert Base. So I'm going to claw my way up there. And then get my glowstone riches put away and probably get doing some more but the most important thing right now is to get out of here and put all this glowstone away before I go and do something really useless like lose it really uh, the kind of thing that makes you go oh man why did I do that Why is the minecart always at the other end from where I am? Anyway, this has been an entertaining glowstone run and a fairly profitable one too. Let's see. Go ahead and craft that up. Four and a half stacks of glowstone, not bad. Probably repeat this run again sometime. Although I need to concentrate more on uh, eliminating spawns and building more layers of that trap. And I'll be doing a bunch of that off camera and more of it in the next episode. And I might even do some streaming with it too. So keep an eye on uh, twitch.tv slash tinfoilchef for that. If I stream, that's where it'll be. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.